Professor Michelle Jeremiah, Professor of Biology, with her lecture, And the Beat Goes On. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank God, because I only have three minutes. Hi. <laughs> so I'm as bad as Professor um, Bruce White is. I can't stand in one place, so bear with me. I'm here to talk to you about your heart and my heart, and by the end of three minutes, I guarantee that there is a difference between your heart and my heart. So your heart is located in your chest, and it is a muscular organ that's absolutely essential for your body because it pumps blood, carrying oxygen and nutrients to every single one of your cells, and removing waste products, waste gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide, which you'll eventually breathe off, to get rid of from your body. So what does your heart look like? But it looks like a cone, an upside down cone where the base of the heart is at the top, and the pointy part is the apex of your heart, which is at the bottom. And the base faces this shoulder, and the apex faces your left hip. And this heart consists of two upper chambers, which are called your atria, and two lower chambers, which are called your ventricle. <coughs> And right about here in the upper right chamber, you have a little switch, and this little switch is called the pacemaker of the heart. And then throughout this entire heart, you have wiring or an electrical system that carries a spark from the pacemaker all the way through the parts of your heart. And this electrical wiring interfaces with the muscle of the heart, which is cardiac muscle. And cardiac muscle is a very unique muscle that's found in one and only one place, and that's your heart. And so my lamp represents my heart, and this wiring represents the electrical system, which is also called the conduction pathway. And the switch, I almost broke my heart, and the switch, <laughs> the switch represents the pacemaker. And every time the pacemaker fires, click, it I broke my heart, it travels through the electrical system and when the light lights, it pumps blood. And every time the switch goes off, it travels through the electrical system and when the light comes on, it pumps blood. But what if there's a problem with your electrical system? No matter how many times the switch switches, the light never goes on. No matter how many times the pacemaker fires a spark, it travels through a broken or interrupted set of wiring. The impulse never gets to the cardiac muscle. It never captures, it never beats. That's how your heart works normally. Spark through the electrical system to the muscle. Mine doesn't work like that. I inherited my father's cardiac disorder. He had it, all of his brothers and sisters had it and there's something wrong with my electrical system. In fact, I inherited four defective genes. After the first one or two, it doesn't really matter how many more you have, but I inherited all four. And so last April, right here in my chest, I had a dual chamber device implanted. And this dual chamber device consists of, it's about the size of a um, computer mouse. This dual chamber device consists half of a pacemaker, which serves the same purpose here as the switch. And the other half consists of a defibrillator. Exactly a defibrillator, grab the paddles, put them on the patient, ER, Gray's Anatomy, spark, clear, and the patient jumps off the table. Yes? So what happens is when my electrical system fails, when there's a problem with the electrical system and an abnormal beat is created called an arrhythmia, if it's a fatal arrhythmia, which could result in sudden cardiac death, the defibrillator fires, I've never been defibrillated, right now might be the first time, <laughs> I've never been defibrillated, and that defibrillator fires and creates the spark to make my heart beat. My pacemaker right here is turned off. I don't need the pacemaker. But if I did, it would fire just like I fired that switch, and the heart would pump. 
the wires come up, they feed through my vein. I have one wire that goes to my upper chambers. I have one wire that goes to my lower chambers, and it keeps me alive. That's how my heart is different from your heart. And afterwards, we can have show and tell. I'm happy to show you my device. I'm very open about it. I'm skinny, so you can actually see the leads going up. It's a wonderful thing because it's keeping me alive to see my two girls get married and have babies. Thank you.